Once you have loaded up your Minecraft game at the top, you will see an extra button which says F3. If you tap on this, as you guys can see, we have the Minecraft Java debug screen. And this will update in real time, depending on the biome you're in. Welcome back everyone, my name is Echo and I hope you're having a great day. Happy New Year to everyone. We're starting off the year very positive because today in this video, I bring you the first official download for the Minecraft Bedrock version of the Java F3 debug screen. Now, if you're just here for the download, that's totally fine. It's down below in the description, but I do highly recommend watching this video and understanding how it works, how to install it, how to uninstall it and all the good stuff. Now, first thing I wanna mention is that this is created by Lucas. I was a beta tester for this. I did a video the other day, if you can remember, but today it is download day. Now, a couple of things that I wanna mention is that this will work only in solo player worlds. You cannot do this in realms or multiplayer. Yes, that's quite unfortunate at this moment, but it still works for solo worlds, hopefully multiplayer and realms is the next step in development for this add-on. Now, if you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, basically guys, when you press F3 on Minecraft Java, you can see your biome, you can see your coordinates, you can see entities, you can see FPS, you can see days you've been alive, and so much more. This is basically a copy, but a little bit more scaled down. Now, throughout today's video, I'll be showing you guys in uh, a creative world, but I'm also gonna install it on my legit survival world. Now, if you're doing this in your legit survival worlds, just a little bit of a tip, guys. Make sure you back up your worlds, just so, just for safety reasons. That that should you should do that quite often anyway with any kind of world. So first thing we need to do is we're going to go to create. We're going to go to create new. We're just going to do this is F3 add-on MCP slash Bedrock. This will work for iOS, Android, Windows 10, Xbox, Switch, PlayStation 4, and yeah. If you can get it, the only way you can get on Xbox or Switch or PlayStation 4 is if you know how to install the behaviors packs and the resource packs because you need to install both. Now for the sake of today's video, we're gonna enable creative. You do not need to have cheats on for this to work, by the way, so that's pretty cool. But what you do need to have on is show coordinates. This needs to be enabled and this also needs to be enabled. That being the holiday creative feature and additional modding capabilities. In order for this to work, these two must be enabled. Now, like I said, you don't have to have cheats on and I will show you guys in a survival world that you do not have to have cheats on. But for the sake of the start of today's video, we're gonna enable that. Behaviors packs. There will be two in here. Okay, let me explain them. The first one we have here, you need to enable this one. You do not need to enable this one. This is for when you're removing it safely. So if we just tap, tap on this, activate. Now it's gonna turn off achievements anyway because we're doing this in a creative world. But this will automatically install the resource pack. That's the same with any add-on by the way. Always install the behaviors pack first and it should automatically install the resource pack. That being said, we're now good. So let's load up the game. What I would like to mention is I also have this installed with a couple of different add-ons. I've got like Rainbow XP, Custom Portal, Hot Bar. So it does work with other add-ons, which is pretty cool. Now, I am here on Windows 10 and I, I might show you guys on, on the Pocket Edition version as well, iOS, Android, and how to install and how it works. But if you are on this version being Windows 10, you simply press F8 and pops up the Minecraft debug screen. At the top, it will say the Minecraft vanilla release. It will say game efficiency, 100%. It will even tell you your FPS counter. It's got vanilla server at 20 ticks. The E, I believe you guys said is the entity. It's got Minecraft uh, overworld. So yes, this will update if you go to the nether or the end. It even has your coordinates. It tells you facing south towards positive Z. X, Z again, X. It will tell you the light level. So if we go down here, and we start going this way. Watch the light level start to decrease. 12, 10, 9, 8. So that's incredibly helpful. So that's going to be really helpful, guys, if you're struggling to find out where your mobs keep spawning in your map. So for example, a zombie keeps spawning and you can't figure out where, that will really help you. We also have biome, so it's telling me beach. And yes, the biome will update in real time. I've showed you guys this before. So as soon as we enter this one, it's going to say beach and then go to deep frozen ocean and let's try and find we've got a jungle over there so we've got a little bit of a different one over here this one is still back to beach to river to forest to beach to forest 
So yeah, he spent a lot of time individually installing each specific biome. Go back in here. It's gonna say deep frozen ocean, cold ocean, which is really, really helpful by the way, in trying to figure out the biomes because we got a profile and we go to achievements. I struggled with one of the achievements, right? And one of the achievements I struggled with was uh, let it go using frost walker boots walk on at least one block of frozen block in a deep ocean biome. So yeah, now I can actually directly pinpoint where this is uh, going wrong. Although, as you guys can see, it's flickering on and off. We found a bug. I don't think this is just this add-on. It happens with RTX. Whenever you go to achievements and come back out, it starts to freak out a little bit. If you do have that issue with flickering on and off, just a simple game restart will fix it. It's not this add-on, it's just the achievement screen clashing with some add-ons. Now, although on this one you press F8 just to get rid of it, um, on the Java version it's F3. I don't know why he was not able to combine it to F3, he just chose F8. Now, it also tells me my difficulty, which says uh, difficulty to normal, so we go to settings. And we go to hard, it should update in real time as well. You can see the difficulty below the biome says it's now on hard. It tells me my days. Now, I've been in this world for one day. Well, technically zero days, so it's zero. But if I go to my other world, yes, it will show like 2,000 days. So again, that's incredibly helpful. Now, one of the positive things that I really like about this, I want to show you guys, is to do with uh, mining. So let's go over here. I've never even heard of that biome before. Biome, jungle edge. And then if we keep going, it should just say like an ordinary jungle. Yeah, it just says jungle. So the one thing that I really, really like about, they should say beach, right? Yeah, one thing I really, really like about this is let's go down. So let's say you're going down to, let's go all the way down to diamond level, right? And this is really helpful for overworld, really helpful for the nether as well. So um, as we keep going this way, the biomes will update in real time. Even if you're below, the surface, they will update in real time. So we've gone from, this says beach, all the way to, let's do forward slash effect at P. Night underscore vision. We'll just do night, that, that for a second so I can see things. Um, so the fact that it updates in real time, I think is incredibly helpful. Now, if we keep going this way, it should possibly update to like an ocean one. Jungle edge again. And beach still? I don't know, how, river, okay, here we go. Now it's starting to update. And then, come on, there's, a, there's definitely an ocean over here somewhere. Well, I think you guys get my drift anyway. I will show you guys beach again. Heart, there you go, warm ocean biome. And just for clarification, as we get out of here, 60, we're, in, we're in a warm ocean. So that is my favorite thing. And like I said, incredible add-on. It's gonna be so helpful. Um, let's go to the nether and let's go to the end. Okay, in real time, F3, all the way through. Dangerous, dangerous. It tells me we are now inside the nether. And, wait, where is it? Yeah, Minecraft nether, which it would have been a little, it's hard to explain, but the nether's up here. It would have been nicer to have the Minecraft nether just uh, above the biome. So it would have been overworld, biome difficulty days, but it updates in real time. So we're in Crimson Wolf Forest and it's gonna be even more useful inside of here compared to the overworld. But yeah, updates in real time. I showed you guys the end last time. Let me show you how to install this in an ordinary survival world that you already own. So just for safety, this is my Minecraft underground survival slash survival stories world that's over one years old. Recommendation, of course, you're gonna have to copy it. This can take a little bit of time because it's a big world, so I'll be right back. Now, what this is also gonna need to be done is go inside of here, scroll down, and I'm gonna have to enable these. And what this is also gonna do is copy the world again. So if you don't already have experimental stuff enabled, you're gonna have to copy it twice. Once that is complete, go to the exact same world, scroll down, make sure you have both of these enabled, and then you're gonna do the behaviors pack, like I mentioned, this one, enable. For some reason though, it says, achievements are only available in worlds in survival mode with cheats off. So, I don't know why this is wanting to disable achievements. Regardless guys, once that's installed, this will also be installed. And as you guys can see, I even have this working with Minecraft RTX. Let's load it up. So if I press F3, as you can see, it pops up. 
it tells me that I'm in the Minecraft overworld. It tells me my light level, my biome of choice, my difficulty, and it even tells me that I've been in this legit survival world for 2002 days. Now, this will again update in real time. We're in a plains biome. I'm probably best off going over here because we do have a swamp over here. And again, you can turn it off and on, guys. Like, I don't need to be showing you it 25% of the time, you know? We go over here, we go to a swamp. We go over this side, it's gonna take me to a river, and then it's gonna take me to a desert. So back in plains, we're in a river, and three, two, one, we're in a desert, as you guys can see. So it's just a phenomenal add-on. And like I said, it, it, it doesn't clash with anything at this moment. It's working perfectly fine with, with other things. A AKA RTX, AKA custom hotbar, AKA custom rainbow XP bar. Um, and I, I'm so impressed with it. I'm incredibly impressed with this add-on. So yeah, that's the, the majority of what you guys need to know. I think the last thing I will show you is just how to remove it. So to remove it, go to your game, go to your behaviors packs, and you need to remove this. So deactivate this, okay? Now once you've deactivated this, I'm just gonna go back and make sure it's 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 done it properly. Behaviors pack. Now let's let's deactivate. Okay, that's officially been deactivated. I don't know if it's going to deactivate. So, okay, so inside of here, you will notice that my resource pack is not enabled. It looks like it's disabled my other ones. Then you go in here and you enable this one. So this one is so you remove it safely. I and mean, if you've done this safely in game, you can, it, there'll be a message for you. And as you can see, it says here, Java debug screen removal successful. So this should stop your worlds from breaking and causing issues. But again, it's still a pretty fresh mod slash add-on. So give it, a, give it a try and let me know what you think about it. So I just want to show you a quick installation for the Pocket Edition version. I'm on my Android tablet. First thing you're going to need to do after downloading it is have a file manager. I'm using the Easy File Explorer. Now you need to edit this. So you'll see three different things in here. You're going to have the removal tool, the resource pack, and the behaviors pack. Now, if we just go back real quick, you're going to want to hold down on it, quickly press rename, get rid of the dot zip part, and press OK. After you've done that, tap on the add-on, and it's going to open in Minecraft. This is going to install three different resource packs, well, and behaviors. Last but not least, the removal tool has been installed. Works the exact same way as I showed you before. Gonna play, gonna create. Gonna create brand new or your existing worlds. Again, for the sake of this, we'll go to creative. We're gonna go to show coordinates, experimental, holiday, yes. Additional modding, yes. I'm just gonna do always day, behaviors pack. Do not enable the red one, enable this one. Doing this will automatically enable this one. Then load up your game. Once you have loaded up your Minecraft game, at the top, you will see an extra button which says F3. If you tap on this, as you guys can see, we have the Minecraft Java debug screen. And this will update in real time, depending on the biome you're in and depending at the level you go to. So yeah, incredibly easy to install, incredibly easy to use. The same method applies to uninstalling it. Just take away all the resource packs and enable the red one. And it's that simple. You press the F3 and it shows the Java debug screen. I hope today's video has helped you out. Make sure you guys go and follow Lucas and make sure you guys leave a like on today's video. Have a great day, stay beautiful. And I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.